Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Video Scoutery. I'm your host, Chris Prokos. Joining me in the studio, as always, my co-host and Hurricane District Executive, David Tilden. Dave, welcome again to another show. Absolutely, Chris. I'm enjoying every minute of it. Today, we have kind of a special show. We brought a couple guests into the studio to talk about some camping experiencing and experiences. Excuse me. On my right is a scouting coordinator, um, Bob Adams. Bob, hi. Welcome to the studio Thank and you. To the show. You to be here. know you've been around uh, a lot of the campsites and mm -hmm. pretty much our, our local expert now. So. Uh, well, the only only reason Dave asked me to come uh, was because I'm working on a booklet for the Hurricane District uh, for places to go camping. So. I guess that was, <laughs> maybe that was a logical choice. And that qualifies you. Yes, and qualifies. On, on your right, we have your son, Eagle Scout Jonathan uh, Adams from Troop 941. Jonathan, yes. it's nice to have you here also. Thank you much. Thank you um, much. We were talking bef before the show. I, I noticed your stars there. Uh, 10, 15 years in, in scouting. Yes, <laughs> Jonathan, you said you were, that's 20, uh, you had 11 years in scouting. That's a, right. 26 years combined. So <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> you probably. Time. And my brother before me. Yeah. So I'm sure you probably have been to a lot of the campsites, both in Florida and outside of the state. Well, yeah, that was my, uh, what I was trying to do here was to lead into, uh, to try to get somebody an idea of how to, how to approach camping, you know, as a family. Uh, or, in, or as a scout troop, trying to say, well, you know, where do we go camping and how do we select it? And of course, you've got uh, county parks, you've got uh, national parks, and you've got state parks. And the state parks are probably uh, the best bet for most of you because they're a lot more prolific throughout the state and the facilities are broader. Uh, for example, uh, I, br I brought some literature that you can get at any state park. You can go in and they almost all have literature racks and you can just pick, uh, pick what you want. Uh, here, this, for example, is the Everglades. And uh, it would be a whole layout of the Everglades and the things you can do there and the animals you'll find there and so on. And here's a detailed map of the whole southern tip of Florida. And Places uh, to camp and things like yeah, that. Yeah, you can pick that up at the Everglades Welcome Center, uh, no charge. Uh, if you wanted to write for such a thing uh, from, the, uh, from the government, you'd, you'd write to National Park Service, U.S. Department of the Interior, U.S. Government Printing Office, Washington, D.C., and uh, ask, you know, tell them what your field of interest is, and they would send you literature. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, the different camps, I'm sure they all have varying degree of degrees of facilities from some camps probably have running water and uh, facilities like and Fort AC Wilderness power. or something like that right. is the Others. ultimate of the soft camping with hot showers and transportation and entertainment. Um, that's, that's Fort Wilderness, Disney World. Right, Fort Wilderness, Disney World. Yeah. And that, that would be the one end of the spectrum, uh, the, the easy camping. And uh, the hardest, I guess, would be something like going into the ever, middle of the Everglades with absolutely nothing, no, right. no latrines, no anything. Uh, the only thing you, you have with you being whatever you bring in on right. your back. Right. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, for county parks, here, here in Dade <clears throat> County, we have uh, the places where you can go camping anyway are Larry and Penny Thompson Park on Southwest 184th Street. And uh, the other one is M.E. Thompson Park, which is way up uh, near where 27 joins 27. Oh, Actually, Tokichobe Road joins 27. Right near there is M.E. Thompson Park. But to find information on Dade County parks or camping, even if you just want to go for a day and reserve a, a chicky or something and have a, have a picnic, uh, there's a center for that sort of thing. It's called Dade County Nature Center and Bird Drive Park on Bird Road. But the address is 3401 Southwest 72nd Avenue, Miami 33155. Phone number here in Miami 662-4124. And they would give you information on, uh, on camping or parks here in Dade County. Well, and also most of this information would be available through the scout office, the council office up in Miami yes, Lakes. Sir. And we have Absolutely. that number for you, 364-0020. You should be able to, um, we'll have the number shown to sometime during the show. Ask um, for me. Yes, ask for Dave Tilden, our Hurricane District Executive. That's and right. He has access to all kinds of information as far as campsites and where to go. Or at least uh, access to Bob Adams. <laughs> 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 right. Um, 
the uh, as I said, the state parks. I saved that here to the last because they were the most uh, probably the greatest variety. But uh, here's a brochure, for example, that you could write for, and I'll give you that address in a moment. It says uh, Florida. Can you zoom in on that? Florida State Parks. Okay. The real Florida. Like the that. Florida. And here it lists. Uh, all the parks are listed down down here. How many are there? They're, they're keyed onto a map here so you can find them. And uh, that, this is How many are listed? A, pardon? How many are listed? A uh, hundred. A hundred state parks. Pahokee, yeah. Paynes Creek, Paynes Prairie, Paradito Key, Ponce de Leon Springs, oh, Prairie um, Lakes. So a lot of you probably have heard variety of. there. Absolutely. And there's, other, there's others of these brochures that were... Uh, that'll tell you, for example, what the procedures are for, for making reservations in a state park. It, it's a good idea, by the way, to try as, as close to 60 days from when you hope to be there to call right at that point, because believe me, their phone starts ringing for 60 days hence. And they, they save you generally half their camping facilities for reservations and half for daily walk-ins. Uh, so try to get as, if you're going to make a reservation, try to get as close to that 60-day period uh, as you can. And uh, so these are the procedures. You can, you, know, you can order that. You stop into a state park and pick it up. Uh, here's one of the park uh, <laughs> things at Chitucky Springs. All-time this is, this is my favorite uh, <laughs> state park. And let me just show you a quick picture here. I tore off the wall of my bedroom before we, before we came out today. These are people tubing down the river. And it takes about three hours. Uh, the water, I don't know if you can tell, but the water is just crystal clear. You can, I drink it. Uh, I, you know, if I'm thirsty, I just reach over the side of my inner tube and drink it. The uh, people s snorkel. Uh, skin dive on the way down. Scuba dive. Uh, yeah, it's a, just a lovely place. I, I would give you just, you know, if anybody's watching that would like to like to go there, this is a uh, campground that's right at the head of the springs. It's right at the head of the springs, and it's a private campground, 904-935-1086. And... Uh, if it's inexpensive, you can camp there. You can walk from his place to the head of the springs. Uh, you can rent an inner tube for maybe $1.50, a raft for $3. Uh, entrance into the park in the summer is $2. And uh, that's a cheap cheap trip, and it's one you'll never forget. Now, the Itchitugny, that's located where, just yes, for sir. our viewers? Uh, near Lake City. It's about maybe maybe 30 miles southwest of Lake City, near, near High Springs and Fort White. Sure. Little, those are little towns. Uh, I think we can all say we love that one. That's Wait. my you know, Dave favorite. Said he's yeah, mine as well. And that's uh, just north of Gainesville there where uh, mm -hmm. me and Chris spent some time at school. And, that's, uh, that's where I go to school. That's when it's uh, 95, 97 degrees in the middle of the, <laughs> the, the summertime That water is a constant 68 degrees, that's 68 right. degrees it's, it's, year uh, round. That and the, the about 25 other springs up there in North Florida are just beautiful. It's really an yeah, experience you can only get in Florida and you know, put it on your list. Wherever you're going. Put something to do it's during the summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of canoeing on Itchitugny or pretty much predominantly rafting? Predominantly rafting. Uh, you'd see some canoers now and again, but not very many. I think there's limitations a, on that, too. Yeah, yeah. You can't have mo no motors, uh, very little littering. It's really nice, really nice. Here's a couple more uh, brochures. Uh, John Penny, High, this is Highlands Hammock State Park. John Pennekamp State Park. Now these these are the kinds of brochures you could get, which would give you information about specific parks. Um, Those are here's, rubber uh, here's Long Key State Park. John, that's your favorite. I've had some good times there. Yeah. The water's very shallow. You can you can it's so shallow for so far out that you could without worry uh, you could let small children play in the water right out there and you'd never have to worry about uh, big fish or deep holes or anything because it's there's about three or four hundred yards of uh, shallow water. Yeah, you know, those are uh, a couple of the most diverse one in state parks in the state of Florida. And John Penny Camp is, is an underwater state park, and there's uh, acres of, mm -hmm. of coral reef you can dive over and skin dive oh, over. Yeah. And Diver's dream. Absolutely, yeah. and, uh, and snorkeling, too, as well. And it's very simple. And Highlands Hammock is basically a boardwalk through a cypress jungle, and it's about as, as diverse as you can get. 
you know, if you had any kind of, if you were a kid that had a, a paper to write in school, uh, for history, for example, you can get lots of uh, information from the uh, from the state uh, on, of a historical nature about the early Indians and early settlers and so on. That uh, here's a uh, here's another one at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Have you camped there? Um, I was up there one time with a, uh, a church group, I think, but I know it's a popular one for uh, yeah. for uh, scouts. I believe the um, the canoe run ends there, uh, or ends near there, the uh, Loxahatchee. The Loxahatchee run yeah. does end very close yeah. to that. Very close to Jonathan Dickinson. So yes. you can make that a day and, a, and then a night at Jonathan Dickinson. Right, you Dickinson can wind State up Park. at Jonathan Dickinson. And right. This is uh, where you would write for literature. I mean, if, if you can't pick information up at a state park yourself, uh, let me read, let me read this now. Florida Department of Natural Resources, and I would put uh, Marjorie Stoneham, Stoneman, that's S-T-O-N-E-M-A-N, -E Douglas, D-O-U-G-L-I-S, building. The address is 3900 Commonwealth Boulevard, Tallahassee, Florida, 32303. Or if you want to phone them uh, to ask for information, uh, area code 904-488-7326. Now, most of this literature and the, the uh, pamphlets and everything are uh, given out free by the state, yeah. by the National um, Government Printing Office. That's where I got all this stuff, was at state parks and, and so on. And just we, we keep a file so that when we plan our year, plan our whole uh, scouting calendar or camping and so on, we year just reach into the box and start uh, mm -hmm. Christmas shopping about yeah. the, where we're going to go uh, camping, and uh, we plan out the whole year in August. As a former scoutmaster, can you give us uh, an idea of some of these camps? If you were planning on taking your troop camping, what um, the, what the facilities they might have, or uh, of any of these camps that mm -hmm. uh, might interest the scout troops and the scout leaders watching at home? Well, almost all of them, because our our taste lean to swimming, so almost all of them have some form of uh, swimming, or if if not. Uh, a lake, a river, uh, a stream, a, you know, anything. That's a good point, though. Uh, when you're planning your year, you'll plan, say, a canoeing camp out for one particular month, and you might plan it in uh, the Everglades for the wintertime when there aren't many mosquitoes. You know, there's a lot of things that go into where are you going to go camping and what do you want to do. If you want to go do a lot of snorkeling, you might want to go to the Keys. If you want to do some nature study, maybe a northern Florida camp would be right for you. If you want to... Mm -hmm sleep on the beach, you got to go to Jonathan Dickinson or someplace right. on the beach. We used, we used to plan one Yaha camp out where not much of a you know, scouting nature got done, but uh, we, we'd pick someplace like uh, Bush Gardens. And uh, I had a brochure here for the Dark Continent. Yeah, Bush Gardens. Yeah, like, but just north of this, and you can't camp at Bush Gardens, but uh, just north of there, maybe Hillsborough 20 River. minutes, is Hillsborough River State Park. Right. And right. it's a beautiful place, gorgeous, fast water. It's only about one of the few places that had fa a fast water river in the state of Florida that I know of. And uh, then they have a big natural spring uh, for a pool. I made wow. a great big round, maybe 150 yards across wow. Uh, wow. pool and that is fed by a spring. And then you camp there, and then in the morning you get up and, and drive down the road to uh, Bush Gardens, spend, spend the day, day come back to your camp at night. And of, and of course, that cuts the cost way down because you're camping at a state park at, at a few dollars per person per night, you know, as opposed to uh, 16 70 dollar motels, you know, elsewhere. Uh, I, I wanted to, before we get too far down the road here, I wanted to show this book. This, uh, my wife picked this up at a uh, local bookstore, and I'm sure it, it can be obtained anywhere, but you can practically locate any blade of grass in the state of Florida. <laughs> I mean, I'm it's serious of, uh, about that, because they right. come from aerial photographs. Right. Uh, you, can, you can pick this up and find, like if, if it goes off the edge of the map, it'll tell you continue to the next page or something, and you mm -hmm. flip over and find it here. And they, they've superimposed the roads on here, so you can find your way by highways, but then you can find every little canal, every little island, every little uh, 
So for yeah. playing camping, it's just unbeatable. Sure, the, uh, it's especially a good resource for the waterways, um, finding yes. out where you can canoe to, right. and if you're right. trying to plan a canoe trip, yeah. what, which road can you put in on, and then what's the next intersection yeah. of uh, the river with the next road, so you can leave cars right. up there, and that's sort where of does thing. the river go through, and where is right. it blocked off? Because rarely do you have roads and rivers so clearly Have you ever marked. canoed right here in Dade County? Um, yeah, on, on the canals, like Snapper yeah. Creek. And, we uh, used to do that. Yeah. Sure. Let me, let me tell you real quick about one little uh, canoe trip you can take right here in Dade County. You can put in your canoe at, at Southwest 8th Street and the Palmetto Expressway, right. in that, that area in there. You canoe south along the west side of the Palmetto. You cut in behind Westchester Hospital. Uh, it goes over toward Coral Gables, and the only place you have to portage is over Red Road. Right. You have to get out Little there and portage over there. the road. I've done that. Put back in again. You go right through uh, wind up the Biltmore Golf Course, course uh, right. right through Biltmore Golf Course. You wind uh, up down through uh, underneath US-1. Right by University you wind of up, Miami. You have to make right. a left turn at one point there, uh -huh. but you go, you wind up down at Cocoa Plum Circle. Right. And, and you pull out, and it's seven miles, it's a seven mile canoe trip right through the heart of Miami. You can go all the way out to Biscayne Bay. And it's on beautiful, that. too. Yeah. Sure. Beautiful. If you yeah, go, the you other go way, right out to Biscayne. If you go the other way on that, you end up in the Miami River around the airport. Yep. Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah I, I've never done that, but, uh, yeah. but you could. It's not could. quite as pretty as going through Florida. But any, anyway, I wanted to show you this, this map here. Uh, the, uh, have you, any of you heard of the, you know about the Florida Trail? Right, FTA. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, what I'm, I'm turning to now a little bit here is uh, private. We talked about public and state parks, national parks, county parks, and so on. Uh, but here's the Florida Trail Association. And you can find out information about hiking right here in Florida. It's, it's our own little Appalachian Trail right here in Florida. Uh, Florida Trail Association, P.O. Box 13708, Gainesville, Florida, 32604. Telephone number 904-378-8823. That's the Florida Trail. Boy Scouts put out, uh, this is You'd have to write to council headquarters and uh, call Dave in call Texas, Dave. right? Irving, <laughs> yeah. Texas. Yeah, no, you get them from us, I think. Oh, yeah, he can, can you get them locally. We we have sure. some locally. Okay, Dave said they have them at the local council office. But this is, these are all uh, the high adventure bases in the whole in the country, all through. And but, and of course it includes the sea base down in uh, the Keys. And Top Miller. Uh, and too. Top Miller up at Lone Oak. Right. Top Miller Canoe Base in Lone Oak is in yeah, there as well. Yeah, right. And. Uh, Here's just they list Philmont and all the famous uh, all the scouting camps. And right. Uh, Here's uh, Jenny Springs, which is uh, has Devil's Eye. Where's the uh, patch? Devil's See this eye, patch right, right here? Can you zero in on that? You you swim right out over a, uh, a a sinkhole full of clear water, and you can look straight down maybe 30 feet, and at the bottom of the 30 feet. You'll see a, a hole, maybe three feet by three feet, and it disappears, and that just scares me to <laughs> death. I, there's no way I would do that. But, but they lead cave diving expeditions there, right. Right. and uh, they, I mean, they go down with a rope and lights, and I mean, there's, you'd have to be pretty much of a fool to drown because <laughs> they uh, they take it so carefully, and they have classes and instructors and guides and everything. And, yeah. There's a, a lot that's up near Itchitucknie. They're both they're both flowing it's not into too far. the. It's off of they both 27, flow into the, uh, I think near Fort White. I think. Right. They both flow into the Santa Fe River. And yep. if you were right, to, right. we we recently did a canoe trip down the Santa Fe River to the Suwannee, and we must have gone by eight or ten different springs, including yeah. Jenny, including the Itchitucknie, and huh. half a dozen other local springs or state parks or private parks. Yeah. By the way, we were looking at this uh, jacket. Uh, Quite a collection of patches we have here. Yeah. So. We, We've tried to put one on every time we went camping someplace. Uh, another place you can camp is the uh, military bases. This is from Jacksonville Naval Station. The Cherokee there? Uh, no, the, uh, the, this the one triangle. Here. Oh, I see the triangle. See? Yeah, I and believe it's part of uh, uh, the military's uh, plan of operations to provide yeah. uh, housing and, and camping facilities for. Uh, you can contact uh, the base scouting officer or public information officer, either one, on a military base and tell them you're a, a Boy Scout troop or you can say you're a youth group and uh, tell them you'd like to camp there. They'll generally arrange for you to have meals on the base at, at pennies, maybe a dollar for dinner, yeah. uh, 60 cents for breakfast. Uh, you can go to the base movie for a dollar. Uh, yeah, Patrick's Air Force camp Base. Camp free. They don't even charge. Right. Uh, 
and they generally give you a tour. I'm sorry, what did you say, Jerry? Patrick's Air Force Base has, had a nice setup, too. Yeah, we went to Patrick Air Force. We went to uh, Key West Naval Station. Right, that's nice time. if you want to tour Key West. Yeah. But uh, that's another source of, of uh, camping. Is there any uh, major differences between the public and the private campgrounds, campsites? Well, it costs money really. it costs more huh. to go private. Um, also, the uh, the rules are much stricter. In, in a in a private place, you're a customer, and they really bend <laughs> every which way to make sure you're happy. But in a in a public place, uh, you are on public property, and they're all officers of the law, and you better behave yourself <laughs> in all respects. You know, and they uh, expect it. Like we we were out at Elliott Key camping, and uh, the boys started fishing in the basin, and I hadn't seen any sign saying that you can't do that. But the boys knew better. They shouldn't have been doing it. They were fishing in where the boats harbor. It's against the, against the rules. And uh, I, an officer walked up to me and said, wanted to see my driver's license, and confiscated my driver's license because the boys were fishing in the... And I said, what did I have to do with this? And he said, you're the adult in charge. Hmm. So, and, and they gave it back, but, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just saying that you better obey the law when you're in a state park. So, here was another... Uh, this is called Tropical Trails. Uh, again, now this is Dade County Parks. Uh, there's a whole aspect of uh, Dade County that teaches uh, about the environment, uh, interpretive section. Here's, right. here's photography and field trips. All put and, on by uh, Dade County, huh? Children's programs, canoeing. All, the, all these are activities you can do with your family, you know, if you make the proper contacts. Uh, net. Here's a story on natural pest control. Sure. So uh, that's that's another aspect. Uh, here's Florida bicycle trails, uh, and a, and an address that you can write to. I'm just going to show you the brochure. Can you zero in on that for a second? What it lists is bicycle trails here in the state of Florida that uh, that you can write for and take the trips. It'll give you the maps and show you where to go and everything. Florida Bicycle Trails, Department of Transportation, Map and Publication Sales, 605 Suwanee Street, spelled S-U-W-A-N-N-E-E -E Street, MS-12, Tallahassee, Florida, 32301. And that's, that's on bicycling. Disney World. <laughs> now, this is the soft camping. This is uh, Fort Wilderness. <laughs> in uh, Disney World, if, if a lot of you have been to Disney World, maybe to Epcot and to, uh, to uh, Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. Right. But uh, inside Fort Wilderness is uh, the miles of uh, canoe trails, there's horseback riding, there's, you can rent a golf cart, they've got hot showers. Uh, it's another world. <laughs> it's another world. They have a whole little small town where you can go and get ice cream and watch uh, Gunfights and gun stuff. fights and and yeah. barroom uh, dances and stuff. It's really neat. Yeah, it's really nice. Very well built. Very uh, rustic. And uh, the uh, what's the name of the something review? Uh, mm. I've forgotten. Hoedown yeah. review or yeah, something like that. They have a, a show all within Fort Wilderness. It has nothing to do with Magic Kingdom or with uh, mm. you know uh, Epcot. Epcot. In in those places, uh, you're supposed to go home when the park closes. Here, you stay all night. And then you can take uh, ferry boats from here over to the Magic Kingdom, and you're done. Right. And uh, so it's we we reward the kids once in a while with something like this or Bush Gardens. Uh, or you could spend the entire weekend at Fort Wilderness and never even go into the right. Magic Kingdom or Epcot sure, right. Center. And sure. There's that uh, River Country, I think that they have there. Yeah, that's the, right. That's sure. right in the Fort Wilderness. That's in Fort Wilderness. And, and like they have a water beach. Slides and jet boats. Paddle boats, sailboats, yeah. speed boats, all yeah, these yeah. things you can do. For roughing it easy. That's that's <laughs> the soft camp. See, uh, we've we've done some uh, some trips to North Carolina. I, the reason I got this out, I don't know. Is it possible to get that small picture or not? Uh, we can do anything here. Uh, the reason is it's called a rock slide. And a lot of people have never even heard of a rock slide. It's a it's where you, it's a natural formation in North Carolina where you you uh, slide down the rocks when there's water pouring over it. And I up till maybe a few weeks ago, I'd never even heard of such a thing. But they're solved it all through uh, 
North Carolina and in the Pis Pisgah National Forest, they have lifeguards and so on, and you can go. Yeah, it's, um, it's one of the things about Florida. If you ever want to see a mountain, go camping in the mountains. You pretty much have to go out of Florida <laughs> to uh, North Carolina, North Georgia, and there's this, yeah. so many uh, fine camps up there that uh, it needs to be on your list. Places to go. Uh, right. Real quick, Bob, any of any of these camps that you can say is honestly your favorite uh, of all well, the camps I mean, you've been to? Well, is my favorite. So, yeah. you know, with the clear water and the place where they filmed James Bond and uh, all that sort of thing. Uh, I like chasing fish <laughs> through the water and uh, just uh, that way you don't have to work so hard. It's uh, real refreshing too, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, What's your favorite, Chan? I don't know. I've been camping for so long. I've been to so many different places that it's hard to pick, pinpoint any one. Uh, I've had a million great times in uh, Long Key and Cape Florida. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, all over South Florida. Well, Bob and Jonathan, we'd like to thank you for coming down and sharing your 26 years of camping experiences with us. And thank you for having Again, us. for our viewers at home, if you need to get information on how to obtain some of the pamphlets or the addresses or whatever, whichever, call you can Dave. call Dave at 364-0020. That's the council office, and he'll be glad to help you. Gentlemen, thank you for what, coming my down. My phone number? I'll be glad to. Uh, well, they can probably get that okay. through Dave also. And remember, the camping adventure and all the adventure begins right here on Video Scoutery. Join us again next week.